How do we address it? Uh, with cranberry sauce. <laughs> but seriously. Greetings citizens of the world. We are anonymous. Apologies for interrupting this broadcast, however you should have expected us. Following the recent attacks worldwide, Anonymous started a major offensive against what most people know as ISIS. We prefer to use the Arabic equivalent, Desh, simply because they hate it when we do so. With this message, we want to inform you about what we learned about Desh and what we have achieved since the beginning of Operation ISIS which began on 2014 and saw its rebirth in the last two months. Perhaps you think that ISIS is an abstract threat that doesn't really affect you? We wish to tell you that ISIS is a grave threat to all of us. Once again the specter of an imperialist ideology with intent on the total destruction of those people who do not support them has been raised. These are not religious people, rather they are the simply the latest incarnation of the most murderous regimes of the ages. History is repeating itself. Using a vast and sophisticated network of propaganda websites, online communities and sophisticated communication networks, ISIS is using psychological engineering approaches in its attempts to recruit and exploit vulnerable and impressionable citizens in your own country. Once brainwashed, these individuals may become members of organized terrorist cells, lone wolf murderers, or simply cannon fodder for the caliphate. Anonymous recently initiated a major campaign against ISIS, via Operation ISIS and Operation Paris. We have informed Desh that we will not watch them undermine basic human freedoms and rights without intervention. We have been, and will continue to disrupt their online presence wherever we find them. Our ongoing offensive with ISIS has been relentless and we wish to inform you of our efforts and successes. Specialists in various domains are running the ISIS and Paris operations. Anonymous members are presently infiltrating, identifying the various technology-based methods used by ISIS for promotion and recruiting purposes. The technologies used by these perverters are being scrutinized and targeted as we find them. Dash supporting accounts are being suspended globally. ISPs hosting ISIS websites are informed about this. Most host providers are quick to respond in these cases. However, where this is not the case, our operatives will be happy to help them with our special free service. Please refer to articles from various legitimate media outlets for a more comprehensive list of our endeavors. Anonymous is rejoiced with the daily support it gets from people all over the world who call in possible targets. We are carefully verifying and targeting these suspected accounts in smooth cooperation with other groups like GhostSec. Together, we have already seriously crippled ISIS propaganda and recruitment efforts. We took down over 55,000 Twitter accounts. We identified the owners behind thousands of them. We took ownership of dozens of Facebook accounts. Developers have been creating several programs, tools, online platforms and databases which manage to obscure over 1,000 Twitter accounts and do much more. Each day we attack hundreds of verified Dash websites. With every site taken down, Dash loses another foothold for their communications and recruiting efforts. Classified information has been leaked and reported. By gaining access to several social and chat accounts of Dash soldiers, we are able to monitor their shared activities and messages. Bank accounts have been frozen, denying ISIS access to large sums of ill-gotten funds. Funds which would have likely been used for further recruitment or to purchase deadly weapons on the black market, which led to a considerable asset loss for the organization. As a result of the previous week's shutdown of ISIS websites Anonymous has piqued the interest of the United States government, for taking down sites monitored by the intelligence community. And sub-operation called Operation DDoS ISIS has been continuously working on locating, tracking, trolling, and disrupting the ability of ISIS and its members to communicate via the Internet. We made more than 100 ISIS websites inaccessible using DOS, denial of service, attacks. 
This number could have been much higher if Cloudflare, a company based in the United States, would not be defending ISIS sites against our attacks. The efforts of dozens of INNs has resulted in 100 and 150 dash websites being DO set into inaccessibility. The owners of these sites have been furiously running to Cloudflare for protection in an effort to escape our relentless and highly effective efforts. Currently, we are preparing a formidable DDoS attack that even Cloudflare will struggle to repel, and we'll be figuring out more ways to trace the web of lies that Dash has under its organization. We have developed specialized teams who've breached large volumes of confidential Dash information. One frightening discovery we've made is information that Dash is spreading on subjects including construction of improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and hacking the infidels, by which of course, they mean all citizens of civilized society. Of course, the information is accompanied by propaganda and calls to action to use said info to cause harm. These informants provide information on how Dash secures their online communications. We've even obtained the proprietary Dash comms applications and have reversed engineered it. The Dash cyber team, Cyber Caliphate has been specifically targeted and we have also infiltrated other communications systems belonging to these pseudo-Muslims. We will not rest until we've stamped out this threat to modern civilization. We urge you to do your part and join us. The fate of our children depends on it. Thank you for your time, and enjoy the show. A final message to Desh and all its supporters, the collective will take action and step up its game, your days are numbered. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.